There are a few things with humanity that you can always count on to happen. And one of them is that you're one of the biggest or largest around. You're going to be found, documented, and analyzed for records and future reference. Whether it's the tallest person with the biggest muscles or something in between, people are fascinated by these people. But why? Well, because it's about how people can push the bounds of what's typical and go for something a bit more. And there have been plenty of people all throughout history that have broken the mold in one form or another. So with that in mind, here now are 20 largest humans to ever live. Number 20. Ulambayar Bayambayav Now, I bit my tongue a few times trying to say that man's name in one shot, so I am not going to do it again. Anyway, our first entrant on this list is not really a big man in terms of height, but in terms of his girth. You see, being the biggest does not always mean in a singular direction. Sometimes it's just about being so big that no one can really push you around. To that end, this man I'm talking about is a sumo wrestler. These are the guys that intentionally get so big that they can push around other people and literally throw their weight around. And for this guy, he was not only tall, but he was also heavy. He was almost 2 meters tall and 158 kilograms. For a sumo wrestler, that is pretty good. And what may surprise you the most, though, is that this man is not actually from Japan. He's from Mongolia, which may be why his name was so hard to pronounce in the first place. He's a two-time winner of the Sumo World Championships, both in 2006 and 2007. He's also entered in over 100 matches, winning all the gold medals in both Japan, Mongolia, Thailand, and the United States, Italy, Germany, and more. So again, the guy really knows how to throw his weight around, which is exactly what you want to do in this sport. He's gotten so popular over the years that he's been in all kinds of movies and television shows. No, I'm not joking. Remember that movie Ocean's 13? Well, they had a sumo wrestling scene, and he was one of the wrestlers in that scene. He's also been on King of the Nerds, Big Brother, and even The Bachelorette. He was not one of the people vying for her hand, but could you imagine if he was? The point is, the guy is large and in charge, and if I never have to speak his name again, my tongue will certainly be grateful. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Sultan Kozen Next up, we have Sultan Kozen, and the reason that he's on this list is quite simple. In terms of the world right now, he is the tallest living man. That's a fact that's backed up by the Guinness Book of World Records, and they're not people to mess around with when it comes to their record keeping. This man is from Turkey and has had an interesting life due to his height. For example, he was so tall that he wasn't able to finish school. I'm not really sure how that works, but when you're almost two and a half meters tall, I'm sure that a lot of people don't really want to sit behind you. <laughs> he describes the advantages of being tall as being able to see a great distance and also being able to help his family with domestic chores such as changing light bulbs and hanging curtains. He lists the disadvantages as not being able to find clothing for his legs, which measure 126 centimeters, and for his arms with a sleeve length of 97 centimeters, or shoes that will fit his rather large feet. While he is famous for his height, it's not something that has brought him instant fame or even happiness. We like to think of these people as being rock stars in their own way, but being tall can actually cause a whole lot of problems, and that is sometimes forgotten. Number 18. Jeff Gabe Continuing our Rolodex of different ways to be considered the largest of something, we have Jeff Gabe. I mean, wow, these names are getting so much easier to say, and this will probably backfire on me eventually. When you look at Gabe from the front and focus on things like his chest, shoulders, and head, you'll see nothing wrong with him. But the moment that he holds up his arms and hands, you're going to see something very wrong, anatomically speaking. Because unlike most other people in the world, Jeff's hands and arms are disproportionate to the rest of his body. In other words, they are huge. 
I mean, seriously, look at those arms and hands and tell me that it's normal. He'll happily admit that it's not, as well as anyone else who sees them. Just the circumference of his arm alone is almost a half a meter. I mean, can you even imagine? Well, you don't have to, because he's right here in front of you. Due to the size of his hands and arms, a lot of people think that he has a medical condition which led him to being this way, but the twist here is that no one can find out what that condition is. There is medically nothing wrong with him, and yet his arms and hands are much bigger than they should be. The irony of it all is that one of his favorite hobbies is actually arm wrestling, but I doubt that he loses all that often. Number 17. Macy Curran so far, I've shown you a trio of men who have fit the biggest or largest category in some certain way, but with Macy Curran, I'm dipping into the ladies' side of the gene pool because there have been plenty of women who have been giants in their own ways, and this one is absolutely no different. Remember when people would predict how big you would be when you were young? Even back then, people thought that Macy would be tall, probably around 2 meters tall, which is not really a typical height for a woman, but everyone was actually shocked when she was that tall and in the 7th grade. While she didn't go too far above that, her body is definitely something to be surprised at, especially when you look at the length of her legs. Her legs alone make up about 60% of her height, and she's now held the world record for the longest legs by a teenager and a woman. Just how long are her legs? Well, if you put the average female in the United States next to her, her legs would only be a little shorter than that other woman whole. That is absolutely stunning. That all being said, like others on this list, there are costs to being this way. She was bullied often for her height and has had to have her clothing custom made for her so that she can actually wear it. She also hates traveling on planes because of the cramped seats, and she can't fit into a whole bunch of cars. Still though, she's trying to be an inspiring figure for those of atypical height, especially of the female kind, and that is something to be appreciated. Number 16. Rumesa Gelgi Now I'm going to talk about back-to-back -back tall women, because Rumesa Gelgi is currently the tallest woman in the world today. Due to that, she's a star, an activist, a public speaker, and the holder of a staggering number of five Guinness World Record titles. Now, we did just meet a rather tall person in Macy Curran, but how much taller could Romesa be? A good set of centimeters, in fact. All being told, this Turkish woman is over 215 centimeters tall, so yeah, she's got the height. But there's a catch with it all, a very sad one indeed. You see, unlike Macy, who is just simply very tall, Rumesa has Weaver Syndrome, a condition that results in a person being unusually tall, having a rather large head, and typically deals with an impaired intellect. It's a very rare disease, so rare in fact, that she was actually the first person in all of Turkey to ever have been recorded having it. Even with those issues, she continues to live her life as best she can, being an advocate for her disease and trying to live her life in the best way possible. That's what real strength is right there. Number 15. Nikolai Valuev Nikolai Valuev is a very famous person in Russia and holds a lot of records for himself due to his size. Specifically, he was 2.13 meters tall and weighed 148 kilograms. And that's a big guy. And you want to know his profession? Professional boxer. Not only was he a big boxer, but he was an absolute giant in the ring. He was so big that he eventually became the record holder for the tallest and heaviest boxing champion in history. He was a two-time WBA heavyweight boxing champion and had 50 wins in 53 fights and won 34 of them by KO. And his only two losses were when he was champion. But that's still pretty good, given how boxing works. The irony of it all is that he didn't have the best hands in the business. In fact, his losses were to men who were much smaller than him showing that size really doesn't always matter. Plus, when he did retire from boxing, he had to deal with a whole lot of joint problems. Still though, he's a landmark in professional boxing, and he's not someone that you really want to stand in the ring against, unless you like the idea of being beaten up by a giant, although I wouldn't judge you too much. Number 14. Sayad Karibi Now, this man was known as the Iranian Hulk, and he got a lot of infamy on Instagram when he began posting pictures of his body, and he was absolutely jacked. 
And while he was under 2 meters tall, he weighed 174 kilograms, which meant that he had a lot of mass to spread all throughout his body, and a lot of it went to the upper half, not that he minded it very much. As you can imagine, he was a massive weightlifter, but he was also a man who dabbled in mixed martial arts, even getting challenged by some people in the UFC at one point. Could you even imagine this massive hulk of a man throwing punches and kicks at you and not really being able to stop him? Despite all of that, his attempts to get into combat sports failed, and he was knocked out in a boxing match in the first round. What does it all prove? Well, it just goes to show that just because you're a massive mammoth of a man, it doesn't really mean that you'll be an unstoppable juggernaut. Still though, there are many people in the world who would love to have his physique, and that's simply the truth. Number 13. Elisane Silva Shall we go down to Brazil to have a little fun? Here, we're meeting a very tall woman named Elisane Silva. She was very easily dubbed Brazil's tallest woman because she was 2.07 meters tall. But like a certain other tall woman on this list, her height was not really meant to be that way. When she was just 10 years old, she was already 1.75 meters tall. That's a really tall child. And so some doctors decided to have a look at her because it's not really a good metric for how young kids are supposed to grow. It turned out that there was a reason she was so tall, and that's because she had a tumor. That tumor not only caused her to grow really tall, but also to have severe pain in her body. In fact, she suffered pain almost all over. Thankfully though, she did not grow that tall, or she'd be looming over everyone else on our list. While she did get bullied in school, she turned things into a positive and became a model, and I'm pretty sure that Brazil doesn't have a whole lot of models like her. She's also being a role model for taller women so that they can accept their own length and see what good things can come from it. Number 12. Oliver Richters Oliver Richters is a Dutch-born giant, actor, professional bodybuilder, fitness model, and entrepreneur. His nickname is the Dutch Giant, and it barely does justice to his 2.18 meter stature. He also weighs 153 kilograms. So, he's tall, he has the bulk, and that makes him a mean combination that many people approve of. What do I mean by that? Well, he's never been afraid to push himself or his body, and has learned multiple skills in order to help make him more appealing to the camera, that is. That's what's led him to being in commercials, television shows, movies, and more. You have to appreciate a man with that kind of drive. And for some productions, they're absolutely looking for a guy like him. But here's a fun fact. Have you ever watched the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Black Widow? Perhaps you remember a certain prison scene with Red Patriot, where he broke that man's arm during the arm wrestling contest. Well, that was Oliver Richter's. He was meant to be a reference to the walking bear character of Ursa. I'm not really sure that we'll see him in the MCU again, so be grateful that you got this one in the first place. Number 11. Juan Pedro Franco Now, I'm going to talk about Juan Pedro Franco, a man who is an inspirational story for a different reason than the others I've talked about so far. Juan Pedro Franco was crowned the heaviest person alive by the Guinness World Records in 2016 after weighing in at a whopping 92 stone with a little extra weight tacked onto that. For context, if you put 10 average-sized men together, he would weigh more than them. That's not exactly healthy in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> His weight had actually crippled him, and he was stuck in bed. He needed a lot of help to set up or even try to move at all, and it was not a very good thing. The only thing that had saved his life were some medical procedures, which allowed him to lose well over half of his body weight, and then he got slimmed down some more after that. And it's a good thing that he was able to get the help, because no one should be that much of a prisoner within their very own body. Number 10. Yao Defen. As we get into our final 10 entries, we start with a woman who, sadly, is no longer with us, but was in fact the tallest woman ever with a height of 259 centimeters and a weight of 157 kilograms. Not unlike a certain other Yao, she was from China, and not unlike someone else in our list, she was someone that had a tumor on her pituitary gland, and due to that, she rocketed in height from a young age. And as you may expect, there were many who wanted to try and get her to become a sports star, as that would bring a lot of attention to China, just like the other Yao. However, this Yao was not strong enough to do sports, 
and injuries were something that she frequently had to deal with. In fact, her family wasn't able to cure her of her tumor until much later in life because they didn't have the money to perform the surgery. Equally as sad, she died at the age of 40, and it's not really clear as to what it actually caused her death. Given that China is a bit secretive about certain things, we will likely never know the truth. Number 9. Soon Ming Ming Coming in at 261 centimeters tall, Soon Ming Ming was the tallest basketball player in the world. But if you think that he was destiny bound for accolades, you would be wrong. You see, he grew up in a lower class part of China, and uh, he didn't have the ability to play and practice basketball until he was 15 years old because his family could never take him to a place to play. However, he didn't give up on his dreams and actually moved to the United States to try and be part of the NBA. The results, well, they weren't all that great. You see, one of the things that basketball players need in order to succeed is the fundamentals, and soon didn't have those. He was tall, but that was really about it. He wasn't that strong, he was easy to exhaust, and he didn't have the skills to match what Yao Ming and other tall players have done. He would go on to do semi-pro leagues and even found himself in movies like Rush Hour 3, but one could only wonder what it would have been like had he been properly trained to play basketball at a younger age. We may never know what could have been. Number 8. Brahim Takula now coming in at 2 meters and 46 centimeters tall, Brahim was so tall at a young age that he literally grew an entire meter in one year. Most kids or teens grow to be about a third of that if they're lucky, but due to this, he was also asked to get a blood test and it would be revealed that he had a condition which had led to his height. Thankfully, he was able to get back to normal size after an operation, but he was still really tall as a result. He was even the second tallest man in the world at the time. Now, as you can imagine, it was not easy for him to be that tall. He had to wear size 58 European-style shoes just to have proper footwear. And remember Sultan Kozin? Well, Brahim's feet are bigger than his. He would eventually go on to work at a theme park where people could take pictures with him. Getting paid to be in pictures? That's not really a bad living. Number 7. John Rogan I've shown you all kinds of various tall people with various nationalities, but now I'm going to show you the tallest African American to have ever lived, and his name was John Rogan. He was the second tallest person ever to live, with a height of 267 centimeters. And what may be one of the more interesting elements to John is that he was the fourth of 12 children and yet he was the only one who had gigantism. Showing that sometimes it's simply dumb luck, or bad luck depending on how you look at it, that can lead to such massive growth spurts. For John, there were some big time catches to having such a height. Due to the fact that he grew up in the 1800s, a lot of people only saw him as valuable via the carnival or sideshow. He turned all of those down, and furthermore, due to the medical practices of the time, he could not be treated for his condition, and that left him with another condition that made his joints very rigid, and so he was unable to stand or walk. Sadly, he only lived to the age of 38 and died because of his height. So as we've hopefully proven by now, just because you can be the biggest or the largest in a category does not mean that it's always a good thing. Number 6. John Brower Minoche Here's another example of someone being too big in the bad way. John Brower Minoche was someone who was quite literally the heaviest man in history. He weighed 635 kilograms, which is just mind-boggling to think about. When you look at pictures of him at his biggest, you wonder how anyone could live with that amount of mass. To give you a reference for how heavy that he was, at one point, he tried to get better by going on a diet. It left him bedridden, and he eventually had to go to the hospital, and it took over a dozen firefighters to get him there. While he would get slightly thinner, by the time he died, he weighed 363 kilograms. He was so big that it took two cemetery plots to contain him. His condition would be a killer, and there are many who debate just how he was able to get such a weight. Some think that it was genetic, while others think it was because of water retention, and nobody honestly knows. Number 5. Ho Van Trung Ho Van Trung was a man from Vietnam who eventually became the sixth tallest man in the history of the world. His story is one that is familiar to many others on this list. By that I mean that he began getting very tall quite quickly, and when he was finally diagnosed, 
he was already really freaking tall. And at his peak, he was 257.2 centimeters tall. Sadly though, this kept failing him, and due to his disease, he kept getting taller despite his body not being able to keep up. He was just 34 years old when he passed away, and it's really sad that he didn't get to enjoy life just a little bit more. Number 4. Zhang Junkai Now if you haven't noticed by now, China has produced quite a few large people, and one of them is Zhang Junkai. He's 2.42 meters tall, and thankfully, he's still alive today at the age of 59. Not much is known about the big man. However, he has been friends with many of the other large giants of China. In fact, when Yao Defen was in the hospital for an injury, he came to visit her and it really cheered her up. It's good to know that these giants among people are supporting each other because it can be a very lower profession. Number 3. Ronnie Coleman Now I've shown you some big people in the past, but now I'm going to show you a big man. And by that I mean legendary bodybuilder Ronnie Coleman. The winner of the Mr. Olympia title for eight consecutive years, Ronnie Coleman is widely regarded as either the greatest bodybuilder of all time or one of the two greatest right along with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And if you think about that, his only competition was Arnold. And many think that he was honestly better than Arnold. By the ending of his career, he not only had dominated the Mr. Olympia, but had won 26 titles on the IFBB circuit. His body was praised not only for its size, but in how it looked and how dominant that certain body parts were and so on. Not only could he pack on the muscle, he could actually use them with extreme effect. He was also noted as being the strongest bodybuilder in the world. He was inspired by a fellow bodybuilder by the name of Lee Haney, who is the only man to match Coleman's record of eight straight Mr. Olympia wins. And when you look at these two side by side, you can see how Coleman followed Haney's example. Even when he stopped doing bodybuilding on a competitive basis, he still made training videos so that people could try and match what he did. He's one of the best to have ever done it, and if you were to get as big as him, well, you'd be doing something right, that's for sure. Number 2. Yao Ming oh, well, let's, yeah, I try. Now I'm finally talking about the man himself, Yao Ming, and why he remains at the peak of Chinese basketball stars. I mean, after all, he not only made it into the NBA, but he also got to be in their Hall of Fame, and that just doesn't happen for anyone. Standing at 2.29 meters tall, Yao Ming is not exactly the tallest basketball player ever, but he was the biggest pro player to have ever come out of China. And when he made his debut in the NBA, everyone was curious about how good he would actually be. As we would find out, he would be really, really good, and when he could stay on the court. But again, the hype around him was real, and he earned his prestige in China before getting drafted by the Houston Rockets with the first pick in the 2002 draft. In eight seasons with the Rockets, Yao ranked sixth among franchise leaders in total points and total rebounds, and second in total blocks. He was one of the most dominant centers that the game ever had by a wide margin, and even Shaq, one of the greatest big men ever, had to learn that Yao can school you if you underestimate him. Sadly, as you likely know by now, while Yao was dominant, his big body was actually injury prone. Something that a lot of big men in the NBA have had to deal with because of the pounding that their bodies take while playing 80 plus games in a single season. Yao's biggest injuries were to his feet, and that's why he had to retire. However, he did become an ambassador for the sport, and is easily one of the most famous players to have ever done so thanks to his size, looks, charm, and his willingness to interact with everyone. He's gone from the NBA, but he will definitely never be forgotten. Number 1. Denis Saplenko And he a little bit open, yeah. When it comes to Denis Saplenko, he did not have to be cocky because he knew that he was the best arm wrestler in the world and he took that to great heights. What made him so great was that his arms, hands, and neck were much bigger than a normal person's and that combination allowed him to exert plenty of power in those contests. Once he entered competition, he did not lose. He intentionally chose the best shows to compete in and would wipe the floor with every opponent that he faced. 
he would end up going undefeated for years. That's just exactly how good that he was. The only time that he lost was when he used his non-dominant arm, so go figure. Well, that's all from the realm of really big people who were big in various ways, and we were actually lucky to find them. Which of these people did you find to be the most impressive, and which ones absolutely boggled your mind regarding their size? Perhaps you know of another tall or large person who should have been on this list. Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool things on the screen, and I will see you next time.